All right, so we got a very special raise of bars this week because he actually did an extra set of bars. So I have six to grade instead of five. Yeah. And my bars this week are from a special guest. I didn't select any of the bars. Okay. They are all from Bobby Cray. Oh. He picked all the bars this Dope. week. So since I got six, I'll start and finish. Okay. I mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. All right, so let's go over to our raise the bars. Oh. <clears throat> hey, yo. These words cut deep like scars. You're now tuned in to the motherfucking Raise voice. the bars. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Love it. Boy. Thank you, Scott from the Unknown Pod. You dig. Um, all right, here we go. All, all right. right. Let me take you on a magic cart ride. I'll bust all your balloons when I smack your backside. We'll have such fun. I'll bring my friends along. I'll kick that Donkey Kong right in his conky dong. <laughs> 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 that last line is so dumb. That's why I picked this shit. <laughs> uh, this is so dumb, bro. All right. Uh, uh shit. I get it. I get a six point five. It's not. Yeah. It's not whack. Like it's cool. It's just nothing great about it. Like it's you. just funny and fun. Yeah. Like it's it's cool. Uh, it's, I mean, it's. I don't. I don't feel comfortable giving that a seven because I would give like actually respectable lyrics a seven. I feel you. And like this is good. Like there's nothing wrong with it other I, than it's just dumb. I like the wordplay though of magic cart ride. That's kind of cool. And then he's saying I'll bust all your balloons when I smack your backside. Obviously a Mario Kart Mario Kart reference. You know that like it's clever yeah. wordplay. It's just not beautifully executed so i do agree yeah. with you um sounds like a cool song though i, I actually want to cool. i want to check this group out or rapper at least but um it's a song called luigi's ballad <laughs> uh from a group called star bomb which uh their lyrics it's a came, cool name for a group yeah it is their their name came up a lot this week when i was uh, looking for lyrics just star, based on the star bomb is just a cool name yeah for it's a, a cool name it looks like they do a lot of like nerdy type yeah raps. probably probably uh nerdcore i'm definitely gonna peep them they sound pretty cool all right here's yours all right. All right, Bobby Cray. <clears throat> and I got eight siblings that I never see in a room I never leave. Stuck on my computer watching other niggas catch some speed. All their songs is extra weak. Confusion steady stressing me. Running out of patience. Let the journey get the best of me. Uh, it's pretty pretty good. Um, I like the internal rhymes. The best of me. Stressing me. Catch some speed. You know extra week that's pretty dope it's clever you know i don't really give a fuck about what they're saying I, I it looks like it's part of uh some real shit they're saying in context but isolated by themselves I, it doesn't really impress me i'm not like super thrilled about it but it sounds like the, this guy can rap so for the similar reasons you gave the last one a 6.5 i'll give this one a i'll give this one a 6.5 also i would have given this a seven i didn't pick this but um this is futuristic uh the song is called sorry the song is called maybe music saved my life okay i would have given it a seven i don't think it's exceptional in any way but i think it's pretty good i like and you know rereading it um it looks like he's like he's bitching like on the come he's on the come up he's bitching that other rappers are getting love and like he's still you know trying to trying to come up and shit and like he's he's pissed and jealous that's that's kind of like what it looks like watching you know? them catch catch some speed and all their songs are extra weak yeah if you like I, that resonates with me yeah i mean i, I rap feel that way i rapped about the same shit on embrace the hate you yeah. know what i mean it's i feel this shit. way so like it resonates with me i do feel that I, I like that aspect of it i just as far as bars go i don't think it's anything yeah. exceptional no, i think it's fair not hating future i know you're yeah. futuristic i mean i know you're watching he's a much better rapper than future <laughs> <laughs> is that is that your arizona do futuristic futuristic yeah. I, I, I remember us talking about him before he's we've, cool as fuck we've bro. used him on race bars several times yeah, haven't he's we? he's cool as fuck bro all right here you go um fox and falco feast all fighters force and foes to flee the scene form and fire for these fiends forever finish first it seems even kirby couldn't fathom fiercer fingers in a land of dreams it's a lot of alliteration mm-hmm <laughs> There's a lot of alliteration. My issue is the alliteration falls off in the important parts, like seams and dreams. Mm. Like, if you're going to do that much alliteration, I feel like you should be hitting it in the key spots. Mm. But it is a lot of alliteration. It is impressive. They are not wasting bars. I do think the bars are hella uneven. Um, yeah, I'm sure in, when it's yeah, wrapped, it sounds flows, okay. But. It's probably flowed better. Um I'll give it a 7.5. Okay. 
I think that's fair. It, it's it it's lo- not like the craziest shit ever, but the alliteration does take it to the next level. Yeah, it looks really dope. Sure. You know? yeah. um, this is from a song called Game Over Part 2. The artist is supposedly Zach Boot Boucher, but this, it looks like it was a, it had like 20 verses. This song does, like 28 bar verses, like it's a cypher, but it's all um, Smash Bros. Each each character. verse, yeah, each verse is a different character. Really cool concept. Um, this seemed like the best four bars out of the whole song, but uh, this is a rapper named Lyrical Gamer. Never pretty heard cool. of him. It's pretty cool. So when you tag him, tag Lyrical Gamer, because I don't know who the fuck Zach Butcher is. Probably some YouTuber. Okay. Lyrical Gamer. <laughs> Shit is nice, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like I th- what you're doing. I like I, what you're doing. I thought it seemed pretty dope. I like what you're doing. All right. <clears throat> oh, this one's big. That bitch is lame, bruh. Yeah. You know you is a lame ho. Yeah. My bitch from over state. She gonna come down state. <laughs> <laughs> I give this a zero. Can I do that? Yeah, I think that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think this may be worse than everything, bro. <laughs> I know. Like, well, I think, like, we had some really bad little Uzi. We had some bad Migos. We had uh, the ICP quotable was terrible. Yeah, yeah. This is worse than all of yeah, them. Yeah, this is this is so fucking bad. This is this is Lil I mean, Xan. Look, this is called Wake Up. I'll take the I'll take the bad with the good. You know, we gotta show these to people so that we can prove to them that that there is a difference between horrible shit and good shit you yeah. know we we talk about dope shit like ill bill we got to show you that this is the, the other side of it you know what i mean lame bro fucking disgusting lame ho. this Over is just state <laughs> down state so bad bro lil xan fuck you i mean yeah, fuck you for bro, uh, you're a zero bro fuck you for making this song you're a zero bro hang it up <laughs> <laughs> all right man here you go they think i'm illustrated rocking a tank top tats looking like i'm getting sponsored by gamestop Super Mario, I get that fireball flame hot. Sewer drain hot from Peach Castle to Bangkok. This is pretty fucking tight. <laughs> I, I, I agree. It's they think I'm illustrated rocking a tank top because illustrated because of the tattoos. Tats looking like I'm getting sponsored by GameStop. Their tattoos are obviously video game tattoos. Super Mario, I keep that fireball flame hot. Sewer drain hot from the Peach Castle to Bangkok. <sighs> That's real good, bro. That's real good. Point three. Dope. This is a rapper named Chris Webby. Have you ever heard of him? Yeah. Um, he can rap. The song's called Hump Day. His name was coming up a lot this week, too, when I was looking for shit. He's, he seems like a pretty dope I'm rapper. I'm not super familiar with him. Yeah. But um, I'm relatively familiar. Okay. Um, he's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, he sounded pretty dope. He seems like another nerdcore type of rapper, almost. This is pretty tight, bro. Yeah, I like it. I think he's got some bars. I think that's pretty impressive. All right. I hold weight. No calories. So my jewel's frozen like a sub-zero fatality. That works and, with your scheme. What? Sub-zero? Oh, games. yeah. I think Derek actually spit a very similar line. Um, I hold no weight, no calories. Oh, I get what you're saying. Hold, so hold my uh, <laughs> frozen like a sub-zero fatality. And where I'm at, it's Mortal Kombat. And when you take shots... Ock? Ock. Oh, okay. When you take shots, Ock, it's not going to be... Cognac? Cognac. 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 When you take shots, Ock, it's not going to be cognac. If, I don't know if you're aware, but Ock is like slang terms, like I did guy or whatever. Like, Never heard it. It's like a slang All term. All right, let me do it again. I hold weight, no calories. So my f- jewel's frozen like a sub-zero fatality. And where I'm at, it's Mortal Kombat. But when you take shots, Ock, it's not going to be cognac. Take shots? <laughs> cognac. When, when you take shots, Ock, <laughs> I just put that to go to myself right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I got you. I didn't even get it until right now. That's, a, that's clever. Yeah. I do like that. And yeah. when you take shots. All right. Um, I mean, it's some baller rap bullshit kind of mixed with some gamer like shit kind of thrown in, but, uh, I'm not impressed. Honestly, this is pretty basic. Um, I'll give this a five. I'm shocked. You said that. I thought, I think his bars are really strong. I think there's like cool punchlines in here. I would have probably given it 7.5. I mean, the only uh, thing I, that is cool is take shots. It's not going to be Kanye. I like that. Oh, wait, no calories. Jules frozen like a Come sub-zero on. fatality. Hold, hold weight, no calories isn't even clever to me. Like, I don't know. Whole weight, drugs. Um, but okay, so he's saying he's it's, ho- a, he it's, has, a, it's a punchline. Saying I have drugs, but no, the no calories is the, the weight. I get it. No calories. There's um, a punchline there. All right, that's, sub-zero is a punchline. 
Mortal Kombat's kind of a filler line, but it's tied to the Sub Zero, and then the last one is another punchline. So there's three punchlines. All right, it's you know it, I'm not trying to sway. No, your, I'm, I'm not going to change my grade. I'm kind of grading these two with I you because I didn't pick these. So I agree. I still don't like it, and I still stand by my uh, thing. But I do in context, and you know, with, with having the shit explained to me, that I'm just ignorant to. I guess it's not as bad, but not impressive. Seems uh, okay. This is Cassidy from a song called Expect the Unexpected. Okay. This seems like Cassidy to me. Okay. Like, this seems like typical Cassidy. I like it, though. Seems like some pretty basic shit to me. I like it. I like Cassidy, though. All right. Next. Hop a ride, tag along, add a song to your mini mix. Mega Man, Egg of Van, Razor clamped to his chinny chins. 66, route down, moving down the Dixie, down to, to the Dixie chick. This monkey brought a weapon and having given him a pixie stick. All right, so the scheme's cool. I like mini mix. I like chinny chins too, because that seems like it would be filler, but it's kind of like a cool usage. Yeah, yeah. Because it it does actually mean something. It's not made up. I don't know. Is that slang razor clamp to his chinny chins? Is that what does that mean? Do you know? A razor to his chinny chin. Okay, I see. I see. Is what I would assume. I just the, maybe razor clamped threw me off, but I wasn't sure what it what it meant. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I think he said Razor Clamp to rhyme it with Mega Man and yeah, Mega yeah. Van. I do like Hop that. Hop a ride, tag along, add a song to your mini mix, Mega Man, Egg of Van. I don't understand what Egg of Van is. Is that a Mega Man thing? Nope. Razor Clamp to his chinny chins, 66, root down, moving down to the Dixie chick. This monkey brought a weapon and heaven give him a pixie stick. See, I feel like those last two bars don't actually mean anything. Yeah, I know. I'm guessing moving down to the Dixie chick, he's talking about like Dixie South. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm guessing. And this monkey brought a weapon and heaven give him a pixie stick? What does that mean? No fucking clue. <laughs> I like the rhyme scheme, though. That's why I picked it. Uh, I'll give it uh, 5.5. Okay. Um, I like the scheme. I like the rhymes. You know what else um, I like about it? There's some cool stuff in here mixed in a lot of <laughs> gibberish to me. Yeah. What, what I like about it is I like it when people, um, while they don't rhyme, this is like a cool like little... Uh, melodic thing you can do where you say like hop a ride tag along add a song to your mini mix make a man egg event you know like doing that it, like, oh, it could be eminem it's not i've never heard of this artist um just the way you were doing it made yeah it sound like that hop a ride tag along add a song to your mini mix i've never make a man egg a band yeah i like i like the little the the tongue twist you know not not really a tongue twist but like the yeah yeah i know what you're saying. just the way it sounds it rolls off the tongue you know i think that's kind of cool the pattern um i don't know which one of these is the band and which one's the song i'll be honest um I think the band is Kiln. No, the song must be Kiln. And the band is Hail Mary Mallon. I don't know if it's a band or a rapper. I have no idea. Hail, H-A-I-L-M-A-R-Y-M-A-L-L-O-N. <laughs> Kiln. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this. Huh? Um, yeah, it's just okay. Yeah. It, fit, it fit my scheme. Yeah. All right, here we go. We got some, bomb, some bombs and razor bars this week, huh? Yeah. All right. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words or listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the country and through some times... Country? How did you do that, bro? <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> All right, hold on. I grew up in the city and through some times we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we are blessed. We were blessed. All right, it's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words or listen to my signal of distress. Those two bars are super dope. I love it. Love those two bars. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness, and the success. Hear my words or listen to my signal of distress. That shit is so tight. It's really good. I really, I really. I think those are really good, and they're not my favorite line of the bar. The, the stanza. I love those two bars. I grew up in the city, and through some times, we had less compared to those some of my. sometimes we had less. I grew up in the country, and through some time. <laughs> and though sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my N words down the block, man, we were blessed. Those two run together, so it's. All right, I get it. Though sometimes we had less compared to, you know what I'm saying? All right, like all he's, right. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, I get it. They're saying some real shit, and this is some, you know, heavy handed, like from the heart shit. I think I, the last bar is the best one. And I like it for that reason. You know, I, I like the context, or there's no context. I like the. Um, I like the context that I do see. I, I enjoy the rhyme scheme. It seems pretty good. Um, but just based on those two bars, the first two bars alone, I'm going to give this an uh, eight. I think that's fair. Um, I think the fourth bar is the best. I just like 
the contrast of like we had nothing, but compared to other people, we had something. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Um, so I, do, I like, I like that. that too. Um, I would probably grade this an eight too. Yeah, who is I this? I think this is really good. This is J. Cole's from a song called Love Yours. Okay. I think that's really good stanza. I like I, it too. I like, I like the content. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's what I meant. I like it a lot. When I was trying to say context. Yeah. I, the content is really dope. That's, what he's, what that's he's my favorite part. That's awesome. Yeah. Like, I really like it. I mean, mine looks so fucking boring and stupid <laughs> when I switch back. I'm like, Ugh. It's just a fucking rectangle. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll upgrade you. All right. All right. It's the attack of the pack. Getting back on a rap. Gonna murder the track. Smacking my lips after grabbing a snack. Never getting full. Got a habit of that. You know, Miss Pack, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the attack of the pack. Getting back on a rap. Gonna murder the track. Smacking my lips after grabbing a snack. Never getting full. Got a habit of that. You know, Miss Pack, I'm gonna hit that. There's some filler in here. The scheme is sweet. Like smacking my lips after grabbing a snack has no place being in the middle of, uh, other than scheme. Um, that being said, I really like this. I, I I genuinely like this, even though some of it's kind of filler Silly. and yeah. Never getting full, got a habit of that is kind of like a reach just for the sake of keeping the scheme and getting to where he's going. Right. Uh, but it's I just like it. I can't help but like it. Uh, I'm gonna give this an eight. Cool. I, I agree. This is really dope. This, the artist... Um, the, There's things wrong with this. I still like it. The rapper on this song is JT Makinima, or Machinima, however that's pronounced. It seems like another nerdcore rapper. Super dope. It's from that same song I pulled earlier. <laughs> hey, this, is, this is the Pac-Man. <laughs> this is Pac-Man. But so, knowing that he's rapping as Pac-Man, uh. he says, smacking my lips after grabbing a snack, never getting full, got a habit of that. You know what I mean? Like, see? He's right. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, Miss Pack, I'm gonna hit that. That that last Oh, 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 it it does mean something. I'm thinking this is all filler. It's that's about Pac Man eating dots. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the really the only filler is getting back in a rap gonna murder the right. track. Correct. That's the filler there. I didn't even put together <laughs> Pac Man eating dots. Yeah. But yeah, that okay. <laughs> yeah, it seemed pretty dope in that I like context. This. I like this. Yeah. Me too. That second bar is a reach, but the rest of it's really good. I, I like it. I want to listen. I like it. I, I'm going to listen to this fucking song because it seems pretty cool. Like it, it's, a lot of the other verses leave something to be desired from what I can read, but these were like the standout parts of the song for sure. I feel like murder should have been something that would have rhymed, like smash on a track or something. Yeah, I mean, Getting he back in a rap. I'm going to smash on a smash on a track. You know what I'm saying? Like that yeah. would have been better to me. But like this is good. I like this. I agree. I'm with you. Yeah, I think it's flawed and still still charming. Still dope. Now, bullet holes left in my peepholes. I'm suiting up in street clothes. Hand me a nine and I'll defeat foes. Y'all know my steelo. Steelo? Y'all know my steelo. Y'all know my steelo. With or without the airplay. I keep some E&J sitting bent up in the stairway. That shit is tight. Now, bullet holes left in my peepholes. I'm suited up in street clothes. Hand me a nine and I'll defeat foes. Those two lines are super dope. Suited up in street clothes, hand me a nine, and I'll defeat foes. That shit is tight. Stilo, if you don't know, that's like old school slang for like steez or swag or okay. like you know my Stilo. Y'all know I've heard it before. Now that you mention it, y'all heard my y'all know my Stilo with or without the airplay. I keep some E and J sitting bent up in the stairway. I like the um sitting bent up in the stairway like that kind of like I like how it yeah, flows. Yeah, you know um, it pops. I don't um. I like shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when it's just fun to say. Yeah. And that's one of those lines. Um, I like this. It's not It's not extra special or anything, but he's doing, whoever this is, they're saying what they say, what they want to say very well. And I like it. I mean, it's, uh, it makes sense. It's all in, it's all along the same topic. I think there's so much to like here that is unexplainable. Yeah. Um, I'll give this a, I'll give this an eight. Not amazing, but very dope, like for what it is. I would have given this a nine just based off its charm because it's it's hard to describe why it's so good. Rhyming but airplay with good. stairway, I love Peoples, that too. Yeah. Like that's good. Street clothes. I like this a lot. <laughs> uh, it's not going to shock you that I like it a lot. This is Nas. It's from New York State of Mind. Okay, dope. But um, like reading this now, I like it more than just hearing the song. Yeah? Yeah. I... Again, I, 
There's nope. something special about this. Yeah, it's not exceptional, but it's it's I awesome. I really, really like this a lot. <laughs> Very, I mean, that's that's the sure sign of somebody who's good at their craft. You yeah. know what I mean? It looks so effortless, but it they're, it's perfect, you know? That's an example of that. I think that's great. All right. How many have I done now? That was five. That was five for me? Yep, here's the last one. Okay. All right, spread around the internet because of word of mouth. Cannonballed off the deep end and swam further out. Trying to stack absurd amounts of with a purdy spouse. Put one in the air like Super Smash pulling Kirby out. Spread around the internet because of word of mouth. Cannonballed off the deep end and swam further out. Trying to stack absurd amounts with a purdy spouse. Put one in the air like Super Smash pulling Kirby out. This is pretty good, but there's things that I don't like about it. Like cannonballed off the deep end. I know that that's like a Super Smash, right? Like jumping off the there's a ship level. I don't know. I don't cannonball. I'm I'm guessing here. I don't play a lot of Super Smash, so I don't ever play Super Smash. Me neither. Um, swim further <laughs> out. Like that's good for the rhyme, but I don't know. It's great. Yeah, trying to stack absurd amounts with a purdy spouse. I think is good for the scheme. Kind of a whack bar. Put one in the air like Super Smash. Pulling Kirby out is all right. I'll give it a six. It's Man, good. It's all right. I think this shit is all right. way tighter than you give it credit it's for. It's all right. Um, this is another Chris Webby song. Oh. Um, it's called Nice to Be Back. Um, like I think the the wordplay of Cannonballed Off the Deep End and Swam Further Out, especially spread around the internet because of word of mouth, Cannonballed Off the Deep End and Swam Further Out, it's like a metaphor saying like, I didn't even fuck with at the beginning i started here and still made it harder on myself you know that's what he's saying there and i think i don't know if you overlook that or don't care about that but i think I mean, that I get it i just i think this, i think the metaphor there's so dope it's all right can a ball off the deep end and swam further out that's so tight it's not whack um i just don't think it's great i think rhyming stack absurd or no, i'm sorry stack rhyming absurd amounts with purdy spouse is super dope the too. purdy spouse i don't like i love that shit I think like, I mean I get absurd amounts and party spouse for the scheme, but like I feel like that's such a filler line. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get money with a pretty chick. Like, I don't know what. All put, right, I don't know what put one in the air like Super Smash pulling. I, don't know I what, figured that was uh, like a Kirby thing in Super Smash that I didn't get. Yeah, I don't know what put one in the air even as a reference to in metaphorical context. To be honest, I put one in the air. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe because it means probably. I'm guessing when you take Kirby out, like he probably does that. Maybe that's why I said I was. I was. That's pretty. Tight. I was making an assumption there. I mean, I I think all the internal like thoughts that are in here are super dope, and I'm surprised you didn't appreciate it more right. than I you. I don't think it's whack. I think it's cool. All right, I got you. I just don't think it's great. Yeah, just admit it. You hate Chris Webby. No, nah, I think Chris Webby's cool. I'm kidding, man. That I was, was dope. too. Chris Webby's whack as fuck. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Chris Webby cool. I, I think that shit was dope. But yeah, that's it. You know what my all theme right. was? Was it that they were all rap lyrics? Yeah. I don't even know that they were all rap lyrics. <laughs> yeah, one that was like a band, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it seemed like it. Um, but yeah, that shit was dope. That was a Super Smash Brothers edition of Raise the Bars. That came out is last... Is Miss Pac-Man in Super Smash? Ms. Pac-Man is. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Dude, Smash Brothers got everybody now. Fucking clouds in it. Uh, I don't pay attention to Smash. I don't like. I'm pretty sure games. Claire is in it from Resident Evil, isn't she? I have no idea. I know nothing about Smash. 